kick of destiny. What the heck is kick of destiny? Good luck. See you in Phoenix. Don't miss. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, it's going to be live. 45-yard field goal for Gronk. FanDuel's Kick of Destiny campaign starring Rob Gronkowski getting plenty of buzz ahead of the big game. Who else is getting banged for their $7 million bucks? John Connors is the co-founder and CEO of marketing and communications agency Boathouse. He joins us now. John, good to see you, man. So last year was labeled the Crypto Bowl. How significant a presence is gambling making? Did they replace crypto? Yeah, I think to your point, this year is going to be the, you know, the booze, chips, and gambling bowl all combined. Uh, and I love the fact that you led with Gronk. Well, speaking of it being the booze, chips, and gambling bowl, let's talk about the gambling aspect of it with the booze because Molson Coors is back in the Super Bowl after more than 30 years of teaming up with DraftKings. And what's interesting about this initiative is that they're allowing users to bet on who they think, for example, what beer is going to appear first, what dog is going to be used in the commercial. From your perspective, just the engagement aspect of this, how smart is that? And what do you think we'll hear from other alcohol brands this Sunday? Yeah, I mean, I think to your point, the it can't separate gambling from the Super Bowl, right? And so the ability to kind of make that brand connection and to get that engagement. Uh, these days, everyone's trying to figure out how they can drive up that engagement value, how they can drive up that social value, how they can drive up the conversation. Um, and so I think FanDuel um, and DraftKings have done masterful jobs sort of between the, Gron the Gronk bet um, and the betting on Coors Miller and all the other pieces uh, of driving up as much conversation as possible. Yeah, the live element of the FanDuel ad, have we ever seen anything like that? And how big do you think that will pay off? Uh, I, I think we've seen things like that, but not in the Super Bowl, right? So I think at this level, um, I mean, I think you've seen a lot of categories try and launch a lot of new ideas all the way back to Apple 1984. Uh, it's always a massive platform for new launches. And I think as those two try to exchange blows to sort of, uh, you know, capture uh, attention, capture volume. Uh, I think it's a masterful play. Well, John, for the big ads, they're pricing out just around $7 million for 30 seconds. We're seeing co many companies team up like we've been talking about. One, GM and Netflix in this ad starring Will Ferrell. General Motors is going electric, and Netflix is joining in by including more EVs in their movies and shows. The least they can do. So if you're going to get swarmed by an army of the dead, why not get swarmed in an EV? No! I said no fighting! Or if you're being voluntarily kidnapped, why not be kidnapped in an EV? What's that scent? Is it pine? So GM teaming up with Netflix, trying to push their EVs, take them more mainstream. What do you think of this strategy, a big streamer teaming up with an automaker? I think you're seeing, well, last year's uh, automakers were an interesting strategy. It was majority electric vehicles uh, when none of them had the electric vehicles yet. So they were all teasing sort of what was coming down road. I think you're seeing that collaboration piece across the Super Bowl this year. I think, you know, the marketers like to follow the, uh, the artists and the artists have been doing collabs for a long time. And I think we're just seeing uh, a, a significant number, as you know as well, there's a little more safety in the collaboration. Um, you, sort of two teams, two big brands like Netflix um, and GM going at it together just drives a little bit more safety for the chief marketing officer. All right, John Connors, thanks so much for joining us. I know a lot of us are very excited for all the ads that we will be seeing in just two days from now.